Steel gray hull glides beneath the Pacific thermocline, silent, unseen, and autonomous. Hundreds of kilometers away, another unmanned vessel stalks the deep, shaped by a rival doctrine and a different vision of undersea power. Contest between the US Navy's Orca and the Chinese AJX-002 unmanned submarine is not just a race for a technological edge, it's a study in contrasts. From modularity to mission focus, from open ocean reach to coastal stealth. Understand why this is very important we have to start with the map. The Orca, built by Boeing, is designed for range. Over 50 meters long and with a displacement of 50 tons, it can travel more than 6,500 nautical miles without surfacing, crossing entire ocean basins on a single mission cycle. Modular payload bay with over 8.5 meters in length lets it swap out sensors, mines, or even future torpedo modules adapting to new rules with minimal turnaround. By contrast, the AJX-002, which is China's latest large displacement unmanned underwater vehicle is a much shorter and more compact optimized for stealth and specialized tasks. Its hull is shaped for minimal acoustic signature with a focus on operating in the noisy, shallow waters of the South and East China Seas. Now its range is more limited, which is estimated at under 2,000 nautical miles, but it's designed to loiter, evade, and strike within contested littoral zones. But why does this divergence matter right now? The Orca's modularity enables the US Navy to project power or far from home ports, and be loaded with mine laying modules for choke points like the Strait of Malacca, or surveillance payloads for open ocean tracking of adversary submarines. The US doctrine favors flexibility, one hull, many missions, global reach. Meanwhile, the AJX-002's design reflects China's focus on denial and defense. Slow profile hull and advanced battery systems allows it to operate quietly near the seabed, surveilling undersea cables or shadowing surface ships without detection. Halos are tailored for anti ship mines, seabed sensors, or decoy systems optimized for specific high impact missions in China's near seas. Differently, the Orca is a Swiss Army knife for blue water operations, while the AJX 002 is a scalpel for coastal ambush. The US vessel's autonomy suite is built for long duration missions with AI driven navigation and obstacle avoidance reducing the need for satellite uplinks and making it harder to track. The AJX-002 on the other hand leverages China's dense network of seabed sensors and shore-based command links, trading endurance for real-time coordination in a sensor-rich environment. This is not a moral judgment, it's an analysis of incentives and logistics. At this point, the leverage is very clear between the two designs. With the Orca, the US can threaten adversary shipping lanes, lay mines in distant waters, or maybe conduct ISR missions deep in the Indo-Pacific, all without risking crude submarines. Its modularity means rapid adaptation. As new threats emerge, new payloads can be fielded without building new hulls. For China, the AJX stealth and specialization enables it to saturate its near seas with hard-to-detect threats. Crisis, these vehicles could deploy mines in the Taiwan Strait, monitor US submarine movements, or disrupt undersea communications, all while remaining below the threshold of open conflict. Now with that being said, both platforms still face operational limits. The Orca's long-range autonomy is challenged by the vastness of the Pacific and the need for secure, jam-resistant communications. The AJX-002's reliance on shore-based control could be a vulnerability if those links are disrupted. But now if we zoom out, these design choices reflect broader strategic priorities. The US Navy seeks global presence and rapid response demanding flexible long-range assets. China, facing a geographically constrained but sensor-rich environment, invests in stealth, specialization, and local dominance. So this clearly changes the calculus, because the undersea contest is no longer just about who has the quietest submarine, but who can best match platform to mission and geography to doctrine. And as both navies scale up production with Boeing delivering the first Orca hulls in 2024, and China reportedly fielding multiple AJX-002 units since 2023, the undersea chessboard grows more crowded now. The outcome will hinge not just on technology, but on how each side adapts its unmanned fleets to the shifting realities of underwater warfare. As in the deep ocean today, the race is not always to the swift, but to the most adaptable. So if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, like and subscribe for more.